The closed season for hunting turtles, which runs from the 1st of January to the 31st of September, is supposed to allow these ancient reptiles of the sea some breathing space from human predators. But a growing threat is claiming more and more of these endangered species in the off-season. Seymour Strings manufacturer Neil Lingjizer has noticed a disturbing trend in his native village of Labre. Four weeks ago, I realized that a turtle was caught in the Seymour's lines and it drowned. So the people came, they killed it and they took the meat, buried the eggs, I believe, and disposed of the shell. Just a few days ago, which is Monday, came to the beach again and I'm seeing a brand new shell, the second turtle got caught in the seamless lines, drowned. You're not gonna let it spoil or rotten. I believe they killed it, took the, took the, the meat, disposed of the eggs, left the shell there. Lingjizer, who depends on the CMOS industry for his living, wants the cultivation of the crop to be undertaken in a way that does not pose a threat to the turtles. I need the authorities, wherever, to come and find, work with the people to find a better place to plant the CMOS. Right? Because I do CMOS, that's what I do in my living, CMOS drinks. So I'll be affected by it also. I'm not against anybody. I don't want anybody to hate me or whatever. I'm just very concerned. It's heartbreaking and it hurt me throughout the whole night. And I just had to call you to, to, to find a way or something to do about it. The concerned citizen had some words of advice for those responsible for catching and slaughtering the turtles. We are not in, in turtle season. We should not be tampering with turtles unless it is in season, people. When a turtle come and give birth, it, it, it lays its eggs. If it has a hundred, maybe five might survive. Those little ones will come back after a few years and pawn back the same place they hatched. Now, if that's the only two we do not know that are coming back, I, do we, will we get any more turtles? I raised seen turtles in that area. I would love for my two young boys to see turtles in that area. Two of the three turtle species that call St. Lucia home are listed as endangered. Now these wanderers of the sea, one of the few known predators of the dreaded jellyfish, are facing a growing threat from the Seamoss farms that increasingly dot St. Lucia's coastal waters. Stanley Lucien for the HDS News Force.